do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Callie's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Callie's world. Hey, friends. Well, last time I was with you, I had some great news. My family was headed to the beach for Christmas. This time, I have some not-so-great news. So I guess there's this big storm called a hurricane, and it is headed right towards the beach we were going to go to. So... We can't go! That makes me feel sad! Do you ever feel sad when you get not-so-great news? I don't really know what a hurricane is, but I wish it would have hurried up and left the beach so that we could go there for Christmas! I can't believe that Big Storm decided to visit the same beach at the same time that we were going to be there. It feels like really bad timing. And that's when something happens at a certain time. It can be bad timing or good timing. It depends on what happens and when. Like one time I was playing at the park. I thought to myself, now seems like a really good time for ice cream. And then guess what I heard? That's right, the sound of an ice cream truck. I always get the Wonder Deluxe ice cream bar. It's mm, mm delicious. Anyway, that was really good timing. But a hurricane coming to the same beach at the same time as us for Christmas? That's bad timing. Hey, I'm getting a call from my friend Cadence. I was just telling my friends I was feeling sad, and you called. Hey, Callie, what's wrong? There is a hurricane that is keeping me and my family from going to the beach for Christmas. No tropical Christmas for Callie after all. Oh, I'm sorry that you're sad. Did you say hurricane? Yeah, why? Oh, I think you mean hurricane. Yeah, I know a lot about those. What do you mean? We have them a lot where I'm from. In fact, that hurricane is why I'm calling. Well, the same hurricane that is near the beach is near my home. So my family has to go somewhere else for Christmas and be safe. And guess where we're going? Where? We're coming to spend Christmas with you. Are you serious? That makes me happy. Cadence, I can't wait to spend Christmas with you. I know, I'm excited too. I guess what seemed like a really bad timing wasn't bad at all. Hmm, I wonder. I think you're right. I'm going to wonder more about timing while we check out our Bible story for today. It's time for today's Bible story, and it comes from the book of Luke, chapter 1. A priest named Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth loved and obeyed God. They prayed for years and years to have a baby, but they couldn't, and now they were old. Zachariah worked in the temple. That's a place where people came to be with God. One day, while working, Zachariah saw an angel. He was so scared that he shook. The angel's name was Gabriel. He told Zachariah not to be afraid. Gabriel had a very special message that Elizabeth would be able to have a baby boy. And they were to name him John. John would bring lots of joy to his family. He would help many people believe in God as he got people ready to meet God's own son, Jesus. Zachariah wasn't sure about this. He and Elizabeth were old. How could they have a baby? How could this be? Gabriel said that this news was straight from God. And because he didn't believe it, Zachariah wouldn't be able to speak until the baby was born. And just as the angel said, Elizabeth became pregnant. It was hard for Zachariah to believe God because of the time God chose for them to have a baby. But God had made it happen at the perfect time. Sometimes we wonder when God will do something. In those times of wondering, we can remember Zachariah, Elizabeth, and the baby John. And we can remember that 
we can trust God's timing. Wow! I guess what seemed like a really bad time for John to be born turned out to be, like, the best time for John to be born. God really knows what to do and when. We just have to trust God's timing. God sure does. So, Callie, I'm packing my bag to come to your house for Christmas. Look at what I have. A beach ball, some goggles, a shovel, and pail. What? Why are you bringing those things? Well, I figured since you can't come to the beach, it seems like a perfect time to bring the beach to you. We can play all beach games and decorate with all kinds of beach things. I don't know if my mom and dad would like all that sand in the house. Callie, we won't actually bring sand. For that, it will be the perfect time to use our imagination. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so fun. Don't forget to bring your sunscreen. But isn't it cold over there? You never know. See you soon. Bye, Cadence. Friends, I was sad because I wasn't going to get to go to the beach for Christmas. But then my friend Cadence called and told me they were bringing the beach to us for Christmas. The time that things happen and the reason why can be confusing sometimes, like it was in the Bible story. But what we learned is that we can trust God's timing. Maybe today is the perfect time to trust God a little more for when things will happen and why. Thanks for learning and growing with me, friends. <laughs>